My name is Alvo Prasidik Parvis and I'll be taking your all speaking test. What's your full name? My name is Bodrud Dhaka. Okay, can I see your identification please? Thank you, take it back. So in this all speaking test, in a part one, I would like to ask you some questions about yourself. What do you do? Are you a student or are you doing job? I, I am a student and I recently I have completed my HSC exam. Now I am preparing for my IELTS exam. Okay. Where do you exactly live? I am uh, living in uh, Silete, which is uh, one of the uh, smallest city in Bangladesh and uh, which is the northern part of Bangladesh. Okay. In your free time, what kind of activities do you like to do? Um, um, in uh, in my free time, I am a sports lover person, and I, in my free time, I like to uh, play cricket and, and like uh, football. This type of game I like to do in my free time. Do you have any particular hobby? Yes, uh, my I have a uh, particular hobby. Like uh, I, I am, as I said, I am a sports lover person, so I like to uh, like to write an article about uh, cricket match or football. Okay, so in this hour speaking part one, I would like to ask you some questions about teamwork. When was the last time you worked with a team? Mm, it was uh, a couple of days ago. I play cricket, and uh, which is a team game, and uh, I play with uh, with my team, and uh, we have eleven member of uh, team, and we play together. What are the benefits of working with a team? Mm, there are many benefits of working with the team. Uh, like uh, if if we are play or work uh, with the team, uh, we can earn some knowledge or uh, we can gain some experience, which will be helpful, you know, helpful in our in our future. And uh, we our bonding also also very good if I play with team. Do you think sometimes it's good to work alone rather than joining in a team? I think uh, work uh, alone is not good for us, uh, and I think uh, with team teamwork is better because because if as a proverb that uh, unity is strength, and uh, I think uh, teamwork is better. What kind of problems do you face when you work in a team? Uh, there's uh, uh, lots of problems uh, within a team. It's like agree disagree, uh, which is one of the most uh, common problem in team. Okay, so how can we maintain the relationship among, among the members of a team? We can uh, we can we can uh, play uh, sports activities in the team. Uh, like we can we can gossiping uh, many things. Uh, it it will be uh, our bonding very strong for the team. I think. Do you want to be a leader in a team? Yes, I. Everyone's want to be a leader, and uh, leadership uh, leadership is a uh, one of the best uh, thing for a man. And so I think uh, I want a leader in future. Okay. Thank you. So in this hour uh, speaking part one, now I would like to ask you some questions about countryside. Would you like to live in the countryside in the future? Uh, no, because I am not interested in countryside uh, because uh, I don't like uh, the countryside. But I like uh, central of country because uh, urban, urban, urban city would be better for us. There are some people like to, who like to live in a village area. Why is that? It uh, depends on them because uh, I think they they mm, they like to like to live in village and village is village has uh, such natural beauty that's why they like to live in village area what are the differences of advantages between town and village there yeah, i think there are many disadvantage and advantage a town and village if you uh, live in a town you cannot enjoy the natural beauty and if you uh, if you live in village you cannot uh, cannot uh, cannot the benefit of uh, uh, cannot enjoy the benefit of urban city or and if you live in a village you can you can enjoy the enjoy the uh, your life and it's a free time of uh, free time when you live in village and if you live in uh, you live in in urban city you cannot the uh, enjoy enjoy the life so many people are shifting to towns from village do you think it's positive or negative 
it's a, it's a, I, in my point of view it's a positive thing because if our we live in age of science so uh, we had to decide which is better for us uh, so I think it's better thank you very much that brings us the end of our speaking part one now we will move on speaking part two so in this speaking part two first I'll be giving you a white page for making notes and I'll be giving you a cue cut and you will be given one minute for your preparation if you want to make note then you are allowed and your topic is uh, your activities during last weekend so you are given one minute for making notes okay are you ready yes you have to speak at least two minutes but do not worry you shouldn't stop until i stop you so you can start this speaking this I would like to talk about my activities during the last week. In, in my last week, there are many, many activities I do. In those activities, at the first of the week, I go in my grandf grandfather's house. And when my grandfather's house, we, we go, we go with my family. And it was like a family tour, like family picnic. And in, when I reached the, my grandfather's home, me and my cousin play uh, lots of uh, play cricket and football because we all are sports lover person and in in my grandfather home um, uh, my mama my uncle is also a famous poet and he his book was published in my grandfather home and uh, in the uh, second day of the week uh, my uncle uh, uncle uh, book was published and he is a famous poet in our city city and um, the, his book name is london spice and uh, he, this book uh, after publishing it will be famous and my my uncle give us treat in our grandfather home and uh, he 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 gives uh, gives us a, uh, he arrange a party of uh, dinner and we enjoy the party and after the enjoy my, we congratulate our uncle and he also happy about this and in the in this week we 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 do lots of activities and like uh, after a second or third day my uncle um, uncle uh, also thankful to us because we we all are happy about uh, his achievement and uh, he 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 gives uh, gives us all uh, lots of t-shirt in this t-shirt uh, uh, he write uh, that uh, never give up and uh, which is always motivate us and uh, this uh, weekend was one of the best weekend in my life and i i remember this weekend uh, in in my whole life and um, uh, we are Thank you very much. So we have completed our all speaking part one and part two. So can I get the papers and the you can back this? <coughs> so we have done our speaking part one and part two. So now this is time for our speaking part three. In this part three, I would like to ask you some general questions about the cue card that I have provided you. First, tell me what type of weekends or holidays are available in your country? In my country, in Friday, we enjoy our holiday. It's a national holiday. Or in uh, some religious uh, festival, uh, we enjoy, uh, enjoy the weekend. Do the men and women in your country uh, celebrate their weekends in the same way? I think uh, yes, uh, men and women uh, celebrated together because uh, in weekend we like to go in picnic uh, like family tour and women and men uh, all in my point of view they also uh, celebrate uh, this uh, same way. Okay, <clears throat> what kind of preparation do people take when they go to a long vacation? Mm, I think when they when they go along vacation, they set up their uh, their cloth in the luggage and they go in vacation uh, like nicest place or uh, when the natural beauty also uh, this type of place they go and they enjoy the um, vacation. There are some people who like to work on weekends. Do you think it's logical? Mm, it, I think it's, it depend all on them, and if they if you, if they like uh, work uh, in weekend, it's also good. Uh, and if they go vacation, I think it's also be very good. 
which one people enjoy more long vacation or short vacation i think short vacation uh, people enjoy a lot because uh, in my point of view i think long vacation makes us bored and uh, it's uh, not not uh, essential for us when they go in long vacation they feel out of steam and it's uh, not uh, not not essential for them nowadays people can see the unseen and different parts of the walls from internet so do you believe that in future people will go to a long distance place for traveling and visiting uh, for witnessing the beauties would you like this question okay the question is nowadays people can see all the world by internet so do you think that in future people will go to different countries for watching the natural beauty of those places i think no um, because uh, you cannot enjoy the real beauty in mobile phone or videos it's uh, it's not a uh, good for us i think if you enjoy the proper nature you had to have to go in those places thank you very much that is the end of our speaking test now i'll give you a short feedback regarding the performance you have done during the test so there are four criteria in our smartin section so those are fluency and coherence pronunciation grammar um, grammar and vocabulary so let me start with fluency okay you understood all the questions except the last one so it's not a problem and you try to make answers relevantly and uh, even in your part 2 you answered all the, uh, all the parts provided in the cue card and you didn't waste time uh, with unnecessary information so in fluency section though some of the point i need to mention in part 3 uh, the examiner always needs to have an elaboration from the examinee so in that part you just failed because you answered the questions shortly we need some more details because part 1 and part 3 those are not actually similar in part 1 you answered to the point and we need the only point but in part three we need some more explanation but i think you will deserve to get uh, six influency and coherence let's talk about pronunciation your pronunciation like other students of non-native english speaker like me averagely good but you have some common mistake like you were using urban city again and again it will be urban not urban actually and some other basic words you miss had mistaken but i cannot uh, i couldn't note all of them <laughs> after checking that i can find it out so in the pronunciation pronunciation section you also get we will also get six out of nine let me talk about vocabulary <coughs> you know in vocabulary section it's just not uh, that's not mandatory for us to use that bounced word sometimes we need to use some collocation phrases and um, topic related vocabularies are mostly important so i found some of the words like family tour <clears throat> sports lover gossiping not much what but i expected to get some more so in vocabulary section i think you need to work in that section i will give you 5.5 <clears throat> because you had less <coughs> excuse me sorry my throat is making problem in vocabulary section you did not use much uh, topic related words or some collocations phrases but you know in examination those are necessary let me talk about grammar first of all in grammatical section you know when we make notes first of all we focus on grammar let me start with this i am leaving it will be i live in okay then couple of days you said couple of day there is no problem of number 11 members you said 11 member s is missing we are playing to be we play so you have problem just like other candidates many candidates do the same thing they use uh, additional auxiliary verbs which are not necessary then you said can go sleeping it will be can go sleep not can go sleeping everyone's it will be everyone so like that you made most important in part two you constantly made mistake about tense all of the verbs you used in present tense but the talk, talking was about 
past uh, last weekend. For example, you say that I do. Then you say that uh, he give us a dinner party. It would be gave us. Gave us. <coughs> then you said um, it's depend on them. It depends. Not it's depend. It depends on. And another point is you have low range of grammar. Range. No passive voice. Less complex sentence. No conditional. So you have to be much careful about range. <coughs> there are two parts in grammar. One is accuracy. You know. Uh, you said um, uncle's book, uncle book, it will be uncle's book. You said grand, um, grandfather house, it will be grandfather's house. <laughs> Most importantly, you have to add some range. Okay, there are some other mistakes, so I don't need to explain. So in that section also, I'll give you 5.5. So overall, your score also will be 6, like your friends had. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can ask. No, sir. Thank you. Thank you.